Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs. B and welcome back to another food shopping haul. Today, today I went to Lidl and Morrison's. <laughs> if you are alive, <laughs> um, not even like in a particular country, then you're gonna know what's been going on in the world right now and the madness that has ensued everywhere absolute everywhere it's so sunny i just had a window replaced and the guy literally has just been um and the blind is up the blind normally isn't up so much but oh first of all first of all the kids are out playing so sorry you can hear them um but first of all let me talk a little bit about i'm not going to yabber on too much about emergency preparedness so i'm not this isn't a whole video dedicated to emergency preparedness right but I, if you watch my food shopping hauls, I generally, most weeks, will have, like I have everything set up on the worktops behind us, and then most weeks I have a little thing over here, and it could be one thing, a couple of things, whatever it is, and I say, these are for my food cupboard. So I've spoke about it before what it is, but essentially it is a small stockpile of food that, oh man, the sun's coming out even more. A small stockpile of food that I use and keep for emergencies. I've never really used it. I rotate the stock that's in it, otherwise the food would go off. But I've never used it. We've not had an emergency, so I've not used it. But the idea is to have food, toiletries, household supplies, what else? Um, water. To have a supply of these things so that if anything were to happen, and you couldn't get to the shops or you don't have money for the shops you have got food and other household supplies so it's oh, how can i explain it i don't think the world is going to end i don't think a zombie apocalypse is coming i don't believe that but i do know that there have been times in my life where we live in a really high place and we have been snowed in we get a lot of snow when we get snow usually well i mean sometimes we've been like properly properly snowed in there have been floods there's a lot of places in england are having floods there have been bad storms there have been all things like this so if you can't get out to the shops don't worry you've got food stored and you and your family are safe so with recent events puppy dog's having a heart attack uh, with recent events if you guys have seen pictures on social media and all that kind of thing, supermarkets have been bare. But I've been really lucky because I have this stuff prepared and squirreled away. Now don't be like, oh Paula, well not everyone's got money for that and blah, 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 blah. I, I didn't go out and buy it all at one time. Um, I, if you watch my hauls, I go out and every week I spend like two or three pounds and I get stuff and I put it away. And that's it and i've been doing this for about a year so i have a really good stockpile of as i said food so that's like dried food so tinned goods shelf stable foods um juices water you might be like but paula water's fine we have had times in our life where the water where mains lines have burst water pipes have burst and we've not had water we've not had water and that's it what are you going to do for the time it takes the water people to fix the pipes so we have that we also have household things so washing up liquid hand wash um scooters scouters whatever you want to call them shampoos conditioners bars of soap to what's that stuff called toothpaste and toothbrushes um sanitary products is that what you call that sanitary products i think so i have all of that and medicine all of that stored so today I luckily didn't need to get a lot because generally my cupboards in my kitchen are well stocked. So I went to Lidl this morning. Lidl opened at eight o'clock. I was there for like three minutes past eight and it was busier than Christmas Eve. I'm not even kidding you. If you've been following, like toilet roll has been out of stock everywhere. I am lucky that I have toilet roll. Um, but like, honestly, it was just mental. They had lots of fresh fruit, fresh veg, beef, sausages, um like processed meats like ham that kind of thing they did not have any tins of any kind nothing all they had was like the cheapest cheapest beans that's all they had they didn't have any sauces like curry sauce or um pasta cereal 
soy milk, flour, they had nothing like that. So I'm going to show you what I got at Lidl and then I'm going to show you what I got at Morrison's because I had to go to Morrison's, okay? So I've been yammering on. I hope you're still with me. If you're still with me, virtual high five. Let me take you through what I got. So here's everything that I got. Sorry about the light. <laughs> but we'll we'll roll with it. We'll work with it. Uh, I've tried to separate it out for you guys so you guys can see what I got from the different shops. So first up, from this is all Lidl stuff. And I spent £46 from Lidl. So I got some... What are these? Granny Smith apples, a cauliflower, some large oranges, some peppers. Today they were red, orange and green. Some cameo apples again. Carrots. Oh, look at them. They're so tiny. I didn't pick these. Sky picked these. Oh, they're so cute. They're the cutest little carrots I've ever seen. And then two cucumbers, some broccoli, romaine hearts. This is our Giles' favourite lettuce. He prefers romaine. <laughs> Then we got some fresh orange juice with no bits. Three bags of bananas, because look, we're back in business. I got my new Vitamix, my old one broke. Um, and then the second one was broken as well when I took it out of the box. So I got a new one, we all had smoothies last night. It was fantastic. So lots of bananas for smoothies. I got some easy peelers, frozen fruit for smoothies. We got this one, which is black forest fruits. It's a mix of blueberries, blackberries, cherries and like black currants and then just a bag of blackberries and just a bag of raspberries these like yogurty desserts are shelf stable so these keep the date on these is october um my kids really like these i've got two packets of these potato waffles <laughs> you'll be like paula I've been watching your video for five years. Well, not quite five years, but whatever. And you'll be like, and you've never bought potato waffles. I know, but I just thought it would be handy to keep in the freezer with everything that's going on just now. Some mints for my dog. And then I got these spicy bean burgers again, just to keep in the freezer. Then moving on to more cupboardy stuff. I got some cashews. These ones aren't salted. These are for a recipe that I'm going to do. So when you're looking for these ones, these ones aren't in the, with, the salted nuts will be like, duh, but what I mean is the salted nuts are like beside crisps and that kind of thing. These ones are not, these ones are in a different part of the store and they're more like the healthy stuff. I also got some dried mango for Thomas, some lime juice. I just really like this stuff. Like obviously it's cool to use like fresh, but it's not always that easy. And then obviously you need to keep your limes fresh like you can't let them go off does that make sense as you can just keep this stuff in the fridge now i got two packets of garlic crackers some white bread they have lots of bakery products lots of bakery products well i say lots in little they had bread so you know <laughs> they didn't have any wraps in little so i got these folded white flat breads instead i'm going to put them in the freezer i got some vanilla extract to make cookies and muffins beef stock cubes I wanted vegetable stock cubes, but they only had beef or ham. That was your wax. I just got beef. Some dark chocolate chips. Two, like a twin pack of this raspberry jelly. You, if you're across the pond, you might call it like jello, <laughs> but it's just jelly. Some of these fruit shortcake biscuits. I got a, I think this is a tiger loaf. I'm going to make soup today. And then that's all the food stuff I got from Lidl. Then this, just some bleach. This bleach, right, is actually the best bleach. I've ever bought. I talk about it all the time. Whenever I buy bleach, I say this is the best bleach ever. Um, honestly, gets my toilet so so clean, so clean. Um, I normally buy the smaller bottles, but this was all they had, so we're going with it. I do have bleach, but I am obviously bleaching a lot more just now, so I thought we'll just get some extra just in case. And then again, same with toilet rolls. I've got a good stock of toilet rolls. I didn't panic buy them. In the last couple of days I have had them um, for a while if you've watched my hauls before but this was all they had in Lidl. This isn't my preferred type of toilet roll. I'm not super bothered about running out of toilet roll. Everyone's like oh no toilet roll. But if worse comes to worse there's lots of things you can do. I actually watched a video the other day and it was 10 vegetables you can grow to use as toilet paper. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. That was from um, a YouTube channel called M I Gardener. Um, that was quite funny. If you're into gardening, go and watch it. It's quite good. But if I remember as well, uh, you can use lots of other things as toilet roll. Like you can cut up a towel and use that. Like a lot of people use reusable cloth for toilet roll. They don't use toilet roll anyway. So it's like 
nothing new so yeah i'm not i'm not super stressed <laughs> but sky's like just get some uh, and then i got these dental sticks for the dog she really likes these from little they're like 60 pence and you get i think seven in it do you get seven in it i don't know yes you do seven pieces you get seven in it so she enjoys one of them a day when i remember to buy them i got this for my food cupboard my food storage i got three little tins of this dog food just in case because a lot of people when they're doing their food storage they don't always remember pets so if you've got pets obviously you need to feed them so you know don't forget about them and i got three cartons of this apple juice they had plenty and plenty of apple juice orange juice cranberry juice all that jazz this doesn't go out to date until february 21 21st of february 21 or is that the 24th 21 feb 21 so i'm cool with storing that so that was all that i got from Lidl for my 46 pounds that does seem expensive doesn't it no i don't know <laughs> but then moving on to morrison's i got these pens they only had one packet left they were three pound of just one pound fifty i like these but they obviously are a bit expensive i would have got more if they had some but they didn't so we just got one and these ones were hiding at the back of something else i don't know if somebody had them <laughs> and then i got a jar of peanut butter they didn't have any peanut butter in Lidl dried stuff this popcorn is really good i like cooking it in a pot i do have an air popper but i like cooking it in a pot a little bit of oil some salt it makes the best popcorn ever literally two tablespoons of oil um two teaspoons of salt half a cup of popcorn and pop it it's fantastic and then i got some dried red kidney beans i couldn't get any tins of red kidney beans so we quite like kidney beans so I just got some dried stuff and I'll just cook them up, soak them and cook them up, not the end of the world. Then I managed to get some soy milk, no soy milk at Lidl. So I got three unsweetened soy milks and then I got this Alpro chocolate. I've not tried that before, but I seen it and I was like, ooh, let's get it. And Morrison's, Morrison's has the best pit of reds ever. They are so, so good. These are stone baked wholemeal pittas. They do do white ones as well. They're so fluffy, they're so nice. And then, oh, I got this from Lidl, but this must have made its way over here. I've got brown sauce and barbecue sauce and no ketchup. I got two packets of white wraps with more. And then these ice lollies were in the freezer section, funnily enough. And they were just 20 pence a box. So I got three boxes, left plenty for other people. And then I got these Pringles. These are my favourite. Don't tell Thomas. And that's what I got from Morrison's. I spent, I think, about £18 in Morrison's. These are two for three pounds. So that was six pounds and this was like another three pounds so that's like nine pounds then these were like almost a pound each so you can see how it adds up yesterday i went to costco and i got these from costco these are flaming chicken tenders these were like 10 pound a bag and then back there if you can see there is some that are not spicy so i got them i'm not planning on eating them but it's obviously handy to have these kind of things i'm stocked up with frozen veggies that goes like all the way down there stocked up but we did need some frozen fruit especially with all the smoothies these kids are going to be having um these are my baked potatoes my twice baked baked potatoes that i make they're so so good so good but that's my haul guys hope you enjoyed it i now need to go and put everything away i hate having to put shopping away it's like the worst bit ever oh i also got a case of these from costco they were on offer um they're the san pellegrino and they were half orange half lemon they're so good the lemon one makes your face go like that <laughs> but anyway guys that's my haul done i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up i doubt comments are on so you can pop over instagram and talk to me there or you can pop over to the community tab and talk to me there but I'm going to go down and get all this put away. I hate doing this bit. I'm going to rope the kids into it. But thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my new video. A new, a new video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Love you all. And I hope everybody is staying safe. And I hope everybody has got enough food and can make do, guys. But anyway, thank you. And I will see you next time.